The color lead white is known as having the warmest mass tone of all the whites. Mass tone is defined as when a color is applied thickly enough to completely cover a surface. No other colors from beneath show through. Lead has been used in paintings in one way or another, either in fine art, makeup, or interior design. Lead white is a carbonate of lead which has been in use since antiquity and was prepared from metallic lead and vinegar. It was the only white used in European easel paintings until the 19th century when its poisonous lead content restricted its manufacture and sale as an artist's pigment. Lead white was also the fastest drying of all the white paints. This made it particularly valuable for painters who needed a relatively fast drying time for underpainting. The red and yellow oxidization of lead were also used for decorative purposes. There have been multiple times throughout history when people were poisoning themselves with lead. For the masters who used lead paint, such as Michelangelo and Goya, art was literally pain. Painters started to develop an illness called painter's colic, which is now known as severe lead poisoning. In 1713, an Italian physician described a mysterious set of symptoms he was noticing among artists. He said, quote, of the many painters I have known, almost all I found unhealthy. If we search for the cause of the colorless appearance of the painters, as well as the melancholy feeling that they are so often victim of, we should look no further than the harmful nature of the pigments. He was one of the first to make the connection between paint and artist's health but it would take centuries for painters to switch to less harmful materials. Many art historians think Van Gogh might have suffered from epilepsy and bipolar disorder, but some argue that lead poisoning likely contributed to his delusions and hallucinations. The artist was known to have sucked on his brushes, possibly because of lead's sweet aftertaste. Paints weren't the only source of lead overdose. Consumption of lead acetate, also known as sugar of lead, is a salt that ironically has a sweet flavor. The ancient Romans used this compound, they called sapa, to sweeten wine. The aristocratic segments of the population would drink as much as two liters a day. That's about the equivalent of three bottles worth. Some scholars say the widespread lead poisoning contributed to the fall of the powerful Roman Empire. The modern cosmetic industry has used lead acetate in some hair coloring products for many decades. Using products with lead acetate can cause numbness and sensations in the area where it was applied. On October 7, 2021, the FDA announced repealing the use of lead acetate as a safe ingredient in hair dyes. Now let's travel back to the 16th century and talk about Venetian ceruse, otherwise known as spirits of Saturn. This makeup gave its user the look of porcelain skin. Pale skin, bright eyes, rosy cheeks, red lips, and fair hair were the desired look in the Elizabethan era. They would cake on layers of makeup to achieve their desired look. The makeup then created a terrible cycle, causing more problems than fixing. The lead-based makeup would dry up moisture on the skin and irritate the face. Then they would have to apply thicker amounts of makeup to cover up the blemishes and rashes because the lead was so corrosive. People who wore this makeup were aware of the dangers of putting lead onto their face for fashion, but they didn't care. This was also the rise of the faux beauty mark to cover up blemishes. It has been speculated that the Tudor Queen Elizabeth I died from lead poisoning due to Venetian ceruse and a combination of other dangerous chemicals present in her cosmetics, such as mercury and arsenic. It was not until the end of the 18th century that scientific studies officially concluded the severity of health problems caused by the presence of lead in cosmetic products. In 1821, the titanium pigment titanium dioxide was discovered, but it was not until 1921 that a titanium white oil color suitable for artistic purposes was introduced. By the late 1920s, titanium and zinc white had unseated lead white as the dominant product in the market for white pigments. In 1978, lead-based paints were banned for residential use in the United States. Before it was banned, house paints contained lead for its durability. Lead white paint was also very cheap to use and manufacture. Most homes that were painted between the Elizabethan age through the 1970s might have walls containing lead-based paint. When it chips or peels off, it becomes even more harmful, especially to children. Lead paint poison.
poisoning affects over 1 million children today. Dust from lead-based paint could cause violent behavior. If your home was built before 1978, log on to leadfreekids.org. Between the years of 1914 through 1920, it was documented that children were going into convulsions and seizures because of lead paint. Some companies wanted to still advertise that their product was not the cause of their ailments, but friendly and reliable. The Dutch Boy mascot was created to advertise to families that their white lead paint was safe. There were toys, paint books for children, and advertisements saying that their lives are now better with Dutch Boy paint. Very recently, it has gone viral that some of Corel's popular vintage dishware that many people had in their homes in the 1980s and 90s and has become a sought-after thrift store find may have high levels of lead. If you do own any Corel dinnerware from before 2005, consider removing it from your kitchen cabinets. Corel has since put out a statement saying in part, quote, Before 2000 and before tighter lead content safety regulations, a small amount of lead was an ingredient in the decorating process of many household products. Given the recent demand for use of vintage products every day, we are further investigating pre-2000 Corel products to confirm they comply with today's safety standards. Corel recommends using their pre-2005 dishes only as decorative pieces. Lead poisoning among historical figures is famously difficult to prove, in part because the condition was not known or recognized in most of their lifetimes. Lead white can still be purchased today, but is now more expensive and well known as an unsafe color to use for artwork. Over the years, campaigns to remove lead from gasoline and paint have been real public health success stories. However, lead still hides in many industrial sources, foods, and spices, as well as in everyday cosmetics. There is a 2019 documentary called Toxic Beauty. I recommend watching it if you would like to find out more about what kind of toxic ingredients the cosmetic industry is still using in makeup and skincare products today. I will link it down below. The cosmetics industry comes back with their own science and they say, oh, just a little bit of a cancer-causing chemical. This cosmetics issue is even bigger than the tobacco industry because we're talking about thousands of different chemicals. Yeah, it's gentle, it's safe. And then 10 years down the line, oh my God, I'm infertile. Oh my God, I have cancer. 